Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be making a very simple, pretty easy um, custom t-shirt using our Cricut. So here I'm in design space. I'm going to select text. I'm going to be writing worthy and loved because I want to put that on a shirt for myself. Um, it's just something God gave me. So I... Yeah, I really like it and I want to wear it on a shirt. So I'm going to separate my words. I don't want it as one, um, all as one box of text or one text box. I want it as three separate words so that I can move them and place them how I would like them. It's a little bit harder to get things exactly the way you want when you, you know, keep it all as one set of text. Right here, I'm just trying to figure out what font I want. I see that Cricut has made some changes. Some of their fonts that they had for free before now are $4.99. So I was just looking through to see if I could find um, Carly, which the text itself, the, not the text, what do you call it? The font looks different than I remember. And now it's not free. Um, I remember it being more bold and bulky because in my mind that's the font that I was going to use but it doesn't look the way that I thought it would so I'm going to just try and figure out what type of text I want to use. So I really just was going through to try and see what font would stick out to me um, I clicked on system that will show you all of the fonts that are installed on your computer or whatever device you're using and those of course you don't have to pay for because you own them with your device but I don't know I didn't find necessarily what I was looking for but eventually I found something that worked for me um, but yeah feel free to check out all the fonts because I mean, if you may see the font that I use and you have it, you may want to go directly to that. But if you look through, you might find something that works better for you or something that's more appealing to you. So I had pretty much settled on this font and so I included the word love just to see. I just, you know, played around with the size of my um, words to, you know, make it fit the best way that I wanted it on my shirt because I really thought like this was going to be the font. But unfortunately, I ended up changing it because it looked I feel like it was kind of the best fit for what I was originally going for. I still wanted like a rounded font and a more of a bold font than just like a super straight and boxy font. But eventually I changed my mind because I'm super indecisive anyway. So here I'm going to put the word and in between. And so once I did the word and is where I kind of started changing my mind. I don't know. It just didn't look so good to me. So I decided to change it, which you'll see here in a second, to the font um, Gabriola, I believe. And so I end up just changing um, all three words to the same font. And that's the one I stuck with.
so as you can see this is kind of nothing like I said I wanted you know I wanted that round I wanted that super bold font but once I actually saw this I was like oh this is kind of cute this might work so yeah I went with Gabriola and I like it let me know in the comments if you guys like it or if you would have went with I don't remember the name of that first font but that first one that I had originally settled on so here I'm just selecting all of the text and I'm going to align it I'm going to align it um, horizontally so that all the words are lined up correctly now if you center it vertically then that will happen you don't want to do that um, so yeah centered it to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be but because my words are technically overlapped here um, based on the plans for the individual words the and is not exactly in the center um, so I will be changing that but here I had the words like 10 inches wide so I'm just changing it to 11 I just wanted it to be a little bit bigger to fill out more of the shirt so here I'm just selecting the word and and I'm gonna move it down using my keyboard using the arrows on the keyboard so that I'm not you know moving it left to right and taking it off center just using the keyboard to bring it down basically so once again I'm going to select the whole project and then I'm gonna hit the word attach right there at the bottom so that everything stays together and stays aligned when I go to cut it so then you select make it and it'll send it you know to the mat screen so you can decide where you want it on your mat I'm just going to move it a little bit away from the edge and also don't forget to mirror it if you're doing this as an iron-on because yeah then it will, won't work but yeah move it away from the edge a little bit and make sure you hit iron on and you're all set So this isn't technically centered because from this sleeve, 
see this three and a half inch is from this one that's four. So it needs to be moved to the right, about a quarter of an inch. These are all things you want to consider when making a shirt, especially if you plan to sell the things that you're making. Me, I am not selling this. This shirt is for me. So, but I mean, I still want it. I think that's pretty straight, looks good to me. And so, I'm gonna put it here on my press. I'm gonna make sure the collar, the rim of your shirt is not on this flat piece because then it will leave like a indentation that doesn't look so good. You wanna smooth out the wrinkles that you can so that when it lays flat, it's not like making any hard lines. So this, I'm going to let stay in for 15 seconds. And this is at 375. The timer is set to 30 seconds, that's why you didn't hit beep. So now I'm on the side to see this is the outline. This is what I'm actually supposed to put on my shirt. It's hard to see. But this is the outline. This is everything that I weeded off. And that looks really good. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to save this and then put on another shirt. As you can see, it's a little torn there. But if you lay it right, it'll, you know, stick to the fabric the right way. But, yeah, I'm going to save that because that would still work on the shirt. But I'm going to do my original plan like that and put just the words on the shirt. Give us a subscribe. Hit that button. <laughs>